your idea. So clarity of code is more important than notification. So how do we get to clean code that works? It's not easy, is it? Um, okay. Uh, well, first, uh, the first thing is uh, obviously uh, write code that works. And uh, uh, so uh, the first objective is to solve the, the problem. Okay. And uh, then uh, uh, we can uh, arrange our code better. Uh, for example, uh, here we start uh, by writing a, a test. Yeah, the first thing you do is write a test. But uh, I see a red line under this. What does it mean? Uh, okay. Uh, in this case, uh, I mean, at least uh, I write other A and uh, it, it uh, underlines other with a red line. Okay. Um, in this case, we start from the test, but uh, we don't have a class other. And uh, so uh, we now we, we create uh, what, uh, what we need to do to have a green bar. So, the first thing you have to do is make it compile. You write the test even before you have the classes you are pressing. And uh, you add uh, uh, the minimum of solutions that you need to compile. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's compile, but uh, uh, we, are not, uh, we are not right. Yeah, we run the test and it fails. It's expected 5, but it returns 0. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing, uh, the next thing we can do is uh, make the, the smaller uh, path uh, to, to the green bar. Yeah, small is a key. Work in small steps. So, we return five. Probably, the smallest path. Are we finished yet? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting again. Uh, we, can, uh, we can see that uh, we have a uh, a little duplication. Yeah, duplication is evil, so remove duplication. Okay. In this case, we have guessed the correct algorithm. So, notice that uh, we first get the green bar, and then we refactor until uh, we are happy with the code, and the, green, the bar must stay green. Small steps always. <coughs> In a safe and controlled way. So, this is the procedure. It is you write the test, you make it compile, you make it pass, and then you remove the application and uh, yeah, it's like you have uh, two hats. When the bar is right, uh, you have the hat of the pig and you have to make it work somehow, the quickest way possible. And then you change your hat, you become the methodologist and uh, start uh, cleaning up things and making things uh, good and right and uh, yeah. It's not better removing the application first, make it pass. But no, really. you, you can forget to make remove to remove duplication. The, the, works, the, the code works, but the algorithm doesn't work. I, I can't uh, refactor with the red bar because I can't notice when I'm introducing new bars, or it's more difficult to notice when you introduce new bars. The point is that, that refactoring is a very controlled process. Uh, it doesn't a sensation of saying, ah, I have a new idea and I'm right my system. So after one month, I have my system in the shambles. It doesn't compile, it doesn't pass any tests, and uh, I don't know how much it will take before I get back to something that compiles. I think people do this. Yes. So what we want to work in small steps, and uh, you can also do a very quick refactoring, but with tiny steps when the bar is always green. And if you get a red bar, you know you made a mistake in the last minute, so it's easy to correct. Also, when you write the red bar uh, and fail test first, that means that you know that the, that the test that you just wrote is in the test tree. I forget that sometimes, doesn't, the test doesn't show up in the test tree. And you know that you, you've tested something, you make your program work afterwards. So the test means something. Yeah, it's important to see the red bar. Because if it doesn't, you don't see the red bar, you don't know if your test is effective. That maybe your test. Uh, the wrong assertion. Maybe you did even a running assertion. You just use green bar for something else. So if you see at least a round red bar, know that your test is something. So this is the up operator. And it's not the end to be run 
one at the one and say your one amount. Many is meant to be random many times uh really the working session. When you get into the unit, how many times do you do this when you in the morning? Uh